Well, it's a great pleasure to be back again in Milan City. Uh, Milan City is the largest city in the whole of Italy, and it has a population of about between five to seven million people. I'm standing right here in front of the Milano Central Station, which connects majorly all the big cities across uh, Italy. This station was built in uh, 1864. This station, I repeat again, was built in 1864. It's the second largest train station in Italy after Rome Termini. But in terms of uh, passenger volume, this is the largest, not just only in Italy, but also in the whole of uh, Europe. Milan Central Station. So it's uh, a lot of people, a lot of you may have come here. But one thing you don't look at the look at this in Milan. If you go inside, you have a lot of uh, activities uh, going on behind uh, this uh, train station. So you see how busy this place is. There's a lot of uh, uh, buildings around. Uh, and this is the, uh, I'm forgetting the name, Republica, uh, just right here down to the end is Republica and uh, of course uh, at the beginning it was connected to this uh, very train station, a very beautiful historical edifice and I think that uh, coming to Milan without coming to the central station you know would not be a complete uh, uh, journey. So from here you can connect to Verona, you can connect to Rome, you can connect to Venice, you can connect to uh, a lot of big cities around there and not to forget in terms of sport Milan City has two big football clubs Inter Milan and AC Milan so there is always always something to bring people from all over the world to Milan and when you come to Milan and you don't come to Milan Central Station at least even if you're not using the train then you're missing a lot thank you yeah, well, uh, this is uh, La Repubblica. La Repubblica. La Repubblica, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're taking the tram. This is an ancient tram. We don't have uh, we don't have these ones in the Netherlands. Uh, this is very ancient. I like it because it's uh, attracting tourists. So I'm taking the tram now. I'm going to Duomo, the famous Duomo. You know, uh, Duomo means church in Italian. You know, so. Torati, uh, can you just take the camera around and see the beauty of the, the nightlife, the structures, 
you know, the, the Italian buildings and the structures is what makes Italy very unique. I think it comes from the ancient days of the Roman. We're crossing the road now. You know, just look at how beautiful it is. That's the longer version of the tram, but I think I enjoyed the one that we actually took. So this is the high street. That is Jomun. So now I am going to Duomo, Duomo, the most famous, iconic location in Milan city. You can't be in Milan without seeing the Duomo. Duomo simply means church in Italian. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to say a few things about Duomo by the time we get there. This is why I came here and I'm happy. I deliberately chose to do it in the night so that you can see the beauty of uh, Milan City. Thank you. Finally, I am here in front of the Duomo Cathedral. Like I said, Duomo in Italy simply means a church. This is the largest church in the whole of Europe. It has a seating capacity of 40,000 people. And if you look at the exterior here, it has 3,000 architectural designs. And right inside the Duomo Cathedral, you have the second largest organ in the whole world. And what is interesting here is, can you come closer? What is interesting here is that it took more than 600 years to build this edifice. Come with me. And this is the greatest architectural and cultural landmark in the whole of Europe. And it's the biggest church no, the biggest in Italy. Italy. No. But it has a city capacity of 40,000 people, so it, invariably it can host a decent football, football match. And then what is also very important, like I said before, it has the second largest organ that you can ever have within a house. This is historical. And it took again, I repeat, it took again 600 years to complete this edifice. Today, it is bringing thousands of tourists from across the world to come and see this, uh, this historical uh, monument. A Gothic building. I miss that. A Gothic building. This is, this is amazing. Look at that structure. Let's, let's walk down, let's walk down, it's more or less like the, like the, like you can see, all of this. It's already closed, otherwise I would have gone inside to show you, but the next time I will make sure I come during the day when it is still very open. And you can see a lot of activities taking place here. You have the shops. Look at Gucci shop. Look at Gucci there. That's Gucci. And look at that. And then you have, and they don't play with security due to some of the things that we hear around the world these days. You have the police presence around there. You know? all maximum security to keep every tourist and every visitor to this Duomo Cathedral to keep them safe. So this is just the brief information that I want to share with you about the edifice. And you can come here without being blessed. 
So I'm here to tap into the anointing of this great Gothic structure. Yeah. Thank you. So right now I'm taking the metro. This is the underground subway, yeah? And uh, this is the, the, the red one, right? The red line. The yellow line? Ah, okay. Taking the yellow line back to La Republic. Yeah, to La Republic. Uh, you know, I just left uh, the Duomo uh, Cathedral and uh, I decided to use the public transport this time around so that I can have a feel of what the ordinary commuters go through on a daily basis. And I deliberately chose the night. And so you can see it's a full one. Today's, uh, today's, uh, today's yeah. So, um, yeah. we have many stuff to go. So we're stopping there, right? Yeah, we stop at the yeah, Republica. Yeah, okay, so it's there. So where, where, where we, should, we just left to Rati. Oh, the next stop is La Republica. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then from La Republica, we will take the yeah, we'll try to go to the uh, I think I'm enjoying my night lunch in, uh, in Milan. Thanks to you guys. Uh, you are welcome.